Hi, welcome back. I had a change of plans this weekend, so we were supposed to be out of town, but the universe really said, nope, you're staying home. I'm gonna put some makeup on and kind of do a little intro to this video because it has been so many months in the making and so I'm not gonna be talking about any of the products I'm using because it's not exclusively a makeup video but I'll be checking in as I'm getting ready so it'll be basically jump cuts through the process but let's talk about this I'll tell you what I am gonna do though is be using three primers I know I wouldn't I said I wasn't gonna talk about products but just so you are aware of what a true sociopath I am. I don't know what it is, but I do the same thing with foundations. I mix three of them. It's like one day I just decided to do it and now I can't stop. So backstory, we bought this house in May of 2021 and pretty soon after we started doing some work on it. So the first thing was getting the exterior painted. We got the roof coated with I think TPO or Elastomeric. I don't know what these words mean, but the short of it is we started making improvements onto the house. Something that has always been, not an issue, but just something that I wanted to change in this house was the kitchen because I have nails and sticky fingers, so this is not a good combination. <laughs> this is not very cash money of me. So basically, I spend so much time in the kitchen because I do not like to eat meals outside of the house. Mostly out of necessity for myself, but also I just have always cooked for myself. And so that's kind of been the same since we moved into this house is that I cook most of the meals that we eat. I really wanted to have improvements made into the kitchen because the space is pretty good. It's not small by any means. It's more so that it's it's an older house, so it surely needed some upgrades to be done to it. So that's basically where we decided to start. So we met with a contractor, we got prices, and we decided <laughs> the week before Thanksgiving to do demo. Which in hindsight, if you're thinking of remodeling a kitchen, probably not a very good time to do that. So thankfully, one of my best friends let me borrow her kitchen to make Thanksgiving food because ours was at a commish, so we were at least able to cook around that time, but I think the official demo day, or day one, was November 17th, 2021. Well, everyone, say goodbye. This is the last day. I would say don't mind the dishes, but you know what? We live here, and I'm not gonna pretend we don't. So I this don't. is... I don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the last time our kitchen is gonna look like this. As you can see, I have some Thanksgiving prep going on and I'm doing dishes, but I have the cabinets open because we're gonna start moving cabinets and stuff out here. And tomorrow, which is November 22nd? Yeah, we start, well, we don't start. The contractor starts. Demo in our kitchen. Are you mm. excited? Yeah. And my shirt says duck. Yeah, totally. There's not a swear word on Andrew's <laughs> shirt right now. <laughs> Very child-friendly content. We'll give you photos of everything before and after yeah so oh i guess this cabinet too this is not gonna be here anymore God. but i tell you what is this trash i'll tell can. you what this door it's always in the way <laughs> always i'll come through hit myself on it it's just the bane of my existence we should get a key thingy or like a key a, thingy like to put your keys and stuff on yeah. it since we use it anyway we well, can use the one in the front we'll show you guys this whole process so day one tomorrow and like getting a jump on demolition eh don't, don't feel like you. <laughs> you got wood chips in my cuppy. It is now June 18th. So this was about seven months ago that this started. Hello and welcome to the end of day one. I know they said it was gonna be pretty fast, but just take a look at this progress. So we're getting new flooring, which it should be here. They said either Saturday or Monday. It's a holiday week, Thanksgiving. You can tell by color of my hair obviously changing and I'll date stamp this video as well. So flooring all nice and done up. They're gonna do like basically half and half. So the fridge is here and then this is like where the stove and then that's where our sink was. She gone now. So I'm sure too they'll patch up that or at least I hope they'll you know fix this wall because it seems to have 
been done a little bit questionably and I want everything nice and sealed off. So that's the progress so far. Let's do a nice little 360 here. Hi, uh, check in. Here's a fun thing that's happening. So because our kitchen is under construction, there is no real way for me to like use our stove because it's disconnected and on the other side of the room at the moment. So it's a Saturday. So they're not working today. And I think we're also waiting on flooring. So I'm not really sure like what's going on or how long this is gonna take. But just to let you guys know, uh, so we either have to order food or use like my other cooking tools to make it. So this is, I'm in the living room right now. Uh, this is my panini press, so I'm gonna make a panini right now. Basically, I either have to use this, the toaster oven my grandma gave me, which thank you, Babs, because I didn't think I would need it. I definitely need it right now at this point in my life. And then also we have my Instant Pot, which I can either air fry or use on the saute function or something since I don't have a stove or a hot plate. So this is gonna be interesting for the next couple weeks or so, depending on how long this remodel takes. So thanks for checking in. So as far as the design, that was pretty much, it was essentially a joint decision on everything, but for the most part, it was my choice. And so we knew that we wanted to do something kind of neutral, but we did hit many a snag along the way. Hello everyone. We are at the end of week two, I believe. We've had some hiccups, as I think I got a clip of, but if not, there was termite damage in part of the woods. We had the house treated for termites today. And then we also had to replace all the drywall that was rotten out over here. So that's what's happening right now. And we also have some floor leveler. That's what's happening over here. But, fingers crossed, should be done by the 17th. Hey kittens, back here for another check-in. So this is where we're at. Floors are leveled. Walls are back up. <laughs> so they did the ceiling yesterday, I believe. And so we have all the outlets and everything ready for lights. So I think today what they said they were gonna do is finish sanding the walls and then start painting and putting in the flooring. Very excited. I'm also, I decided just now when I was thinking about filming this clip that it's gonna be so, <laughs> it's gonna be funny because the whole beginning of this video is recorded on my phone because I'm too lazy to go get my camera. But when I do the after, bitch, we're using that Canon T6i so that you can see the full, full fantasy, honey. Also, Here's a sneak peek. This right here just looks like a rectangle and a pipe, oh well, a rectangle and some, ooh, and some stuff hanging out of the wall to you. But I'm about to be in the height of luxury. I'm gonna have a pot filler, so. I ain't never carrying a pot from my sink to the stove again, bitch. Hello. Would you like to guess what day it is? It's the f***ing 23rd! No, it's fine. I know, okay, I, I knew this could happen and it has been very typical for any like new builds or remodels this year, so it's fine. I'm not upset, I understand our crew is doing the best they can, shit happens. But kitchen's not done. That window is still uh, blocked off because the floors and everything are down and they're still working on it, but as you can see, we do not have our things put away because cabinets bro we ordered our cabinets probably like before they even started demo and I knew that it was gonna take a bit to get here that's fine 
it happens like I totally get it they were supposed to be here on the 15th I think and then nothing no updates nothing so finally I yesterday told Andrew uh, that he better tell them I would like an update because if not I'm calling the police <laughs> because we paid them right away so they need to either let us know if things are being delayed like you know you should be able to track shipping if not like they need to tell us so that we know when everything's gonna be here or if we're just not gonna have a kitchen until January that's I'm fine with it, I just wanna know. So finally yesterday they said they're supposed to be here today. I'm about to check, so I'll let you know, but this is still the state of disarray that is our rest of the house until our kitchen is completed. The granite's here, but because it's the cabinets, we can't do anything until the cabinets are here. No backsplash. Our dishwasher even came yesterday and microwave. We're gonna have the full Samsung suite, but we don't have cabinets to put in there, so it's really just putting a big pause in our kitchen remodel but hopefully by the end of next week oh please that would be so amazing it will be done hi and welcome to today's episode of things can't comically go any worse i'm your host so the cabinets are here yay our granite is broken and so am i apparently while the granite was being worked on she broke so we have to pick a new one so that's where we're at. But at least the cabinets are here. Right, everyone? About design, you don't know truly how many things there are to choose for, but also from. There are so many options that it's almost difficult to narrow it down to one that you actually want because you're basically given just this plethora of decisions and it's like, pick one. Sometimes it's not that easy. We went with a contractor and then we had a separate guy doing the granite and the cabinets. So basically we were thinking, you know, this should take a couple weeks, maybe a month or two tops because they say when you do home renovations that you need to, when you're starting, estimate to double the time and double the budget. And boy, did we. Hi, welcome to not the best lighting, but I'm doing a daily check-in. I'm your host, that bitch who don't need no glasses, but it's a very exciting day today because... Ooh, we got some cabinets here. This is going to be our sink. So um, that's happening. This is one Lazy Susan. And then got some drawers. That's where my stove is going to go. So I will have my gas stove still. And I like, these are flush to the ceiling, which I had requested because I didn't want for there to be just dead space on top of the cabinets. I don't know why, I just don't really like that in houses. And so I you know, requested that we not do that. We're gonna have the microwave and hood here. This is for my pot filler. And then this is the second lazy season and more cabinets slash drawers and such. But watch this, this is the coolest part. Some pretty high tech shit over here, if I do say so myself. Hopefully, we've been told, and pending no more delays, I'm supposed to be having a functional kitchen by this weekend, so stay tuned. Good morning, y'all. We're on a step ladder. This cabinet right here, I think I'm gonna make this one my spice cabinet just because, I don't know, I feel like that makes sense. And you might be thinking, isn't that gonna suck because you have to pull out your ladder every time you wanna get a spice? Bitch, I have to pull out my ladder every time I want a cup from the top shelf anyway. I've had this step ladder for literal years, even before we had the kitchen redone, the regular cabinets I needed a step ladder for anyway, so this is nothing new to me. This is just the life of a person who stopped growing when they were 11. I'm gonna get this shelf here set up and then maybe, I. So I could start setting up all these other cabinets and whatnot, even maybe like down here in the Lazy Susan. I don't want to because they haven't put the countertops on yet and also the backsplash. So if there's any residual mess or anything, I don't want my stuff to get all dirty, but I feel like the spices are gonna be the most far removed and they're not, like this cabinet's not moving or anything, not that any of the other ones are either but we have one more cabinet that we need to put on the very end of this row. So I don't wanna arrange everything else just for them to get moved down the road. So that's what's happening right now. Oh wait, just kidding. That actually doesn't make sense to do because I just realized not only do they still have to put the microwave and I think hood, I don't know, 
under this specific cabinet, but there's also under cabinet lighting and things that has to be done, so I mean, I guess it's fine. One, one down, many to go. Holy progress, look at that. So today is January 8th. We are allegedly in the last day. Well, today was the second to last day. They're supposed to be done tomorrow is what I'm getting at. So these are our granite countertops and this is gonna be the backsplash here. And these, I'm just bringing them in to kind of take a look at them. These are the towels I got actually from Andrew's brother and sister-in-law for my birthday last year. But they're the towels that I'm gonna put out. Our stove isn't quite ready because I have to do the backsplash before they can bring the rest of the appliances in. I mean, I guess I could have like brought the dishwasher in and stuff to hook it up, but it's fine. Um, so we have our sink in. This is gonna be the faucet. It is a touchless one. So this is what she looks like. So yeah. We're hoping that tomorrow's gonna be the last day and then I can finally do a nice old before and after. Well, not before and after, but I'll be able to do my after shots. Oh, I bet you thought that was all the cool shit in here. Nay, nay, check this shit out. My God, are those under cabinet lights? Yes, they are, but it gets even cooler. Check this shit out. Oh, a dinner switch from Moonlight. Oh, this is actually really hard to do with one. Well, 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 look who was right. So we have our backsplash on. I don't know why. I assumed that the grout was already taken care of. We need grout. So I'm gonna be making a nice little trip to Lowe's today. We got our microwave. Very nice, part of the Samsung suite that we're gonna have in here. And then tomorrow, because they wanna do the grout first, tomorrow the sink faucet is going on. We're living in the height of luxury here, but I'm thinking tomorrow I feel like most of the things will be done, but we are waiting on one more cabinet because we had to order it. I don't know if I had said already, but we had to order another one because they measured wrong the first time. So we're waiting on that. And then when they do the last cabinet, they're gonna put the shelf thing right here and then the last overhead cabinet right here. So we are in the final stretch here. I'm pretty pleased. So as it turns out, I guess I just did most of my face off camera. I'll meet you in the kitchen. How's that? Hello and welcome to my favorite room in our house. What do you think, tiny dog? See, I cannot see, but I like to nap in here. This is our kitchen. Welcome. It is drastically different from the before photos. So this whole area used to be a window and I had always said that it is so hot in this room, especially in the summer, that it just doesn't make sense that 90% of the room is windows. So we walled that off. Basically, these are the <laughs> infamous granite countertops and these are our cabinet hardware. My best friends helped me pick these out and we just went with a gray. And actually all of our drawers are like that. These are have like my pots and pans in. They're all soft clothes pretty cool. Oh, what a great time for you to take a drink, son. Another feat that we specifically requested were these under cabinet lights. We have them under each of the cabinets. So typically, I know the lighting isn't very good right now, but usually I just have the under cabinet lighting. And then we also have one over the sink, which I turned on for the purpose of this video, but usually I don't have it on. And I'm not kidding when I say I spend most of my day in here. The dishwasher is over here. We also got the Samsung dishwasher. And this is our beautiful fridge which all of these are, if you were curious, the Tuscan stainless steel. So that is the specific color. But come here, let me show you, not the innards of our fridge, but my favorite function of it. Okay, so say you're a bad bitch who wants to stay hydrated. Don't look at my fridge, it's not the most organized right now. So you pour yourself water. I'm not gonna do the whole glass because that's just ridiculous, but anyway. You put it back in the fridge. You close it and then check this shit out. Oh, there it goes. It fills back up on its own for those times when somebody who lives in your house but isn't you forgets to fill up the Brita filter. I'm not gonna go through all of my cabinets, but I will show you my favorite cabinet, which is this one, because this one is where I keep all the pasta slash carbs. So this is some rice, 
different kinds of pasta, all that kind of thing, even more pasta up here. And then I keep my beans and nuts above that. And then on top of that are all my like glass containers, like jars for sauces or extra stuff. As you can see, I do save when we buy jars of like pasta sauce, I save them and use them for storage for later use. So that's my favorite cabinet here. And then also, I just wanted to mention, somebody on TikTok said that my curtains are ugly. I disagree, respectfully. But, you know, you can dislike something and you don't have to mention it. But anyway, I just thought that was funny. So these are curtains. They match with the rest of our kitchen. It's gray, obviously, so there's that. Then over here, we have some shelving. This window, this is the only thing that still needs to be done, obviously, along with like finishing the grout up oven and stuff. But other than that, everything's done. So when it is done, I'm gonna put like little knickknacks and stuff, but right now it's a temporary housing for like, obviously my wine glass, some snacks, some home decor, things like that. And this is where Ollie usually hangs out, but he's not in here right now. So it's just an unfinished window. This here is our accent wall. That's where the baby dog sleeps and his little feeding station when he's in here. Guess what this color is called? It's dark and stormy. I did kind of pick some things based on their name, such as this wall color, but also that I really liked it and it matched. This thing, it has always been in my kitchen, but for some reason, I don't think anybody ever noticed it, but I moved it to this wall. It used to be over there, but now it's here where you can really see it. And you can't really tell because most of the walls are covered, well, most of the wall on the other side is backsplashed, but this color for the light part is called Fossil. It's like an off-white with like a hue of gray in there. So I picked that for that color. And then we now have our little key rack put up so that we can have our keys here. This flooring I absolutely love so much. Also something I picked somewhat on the name, but mostly because I just think it matches well with everything. It looks a little bit more brown on camera, but in person it's kind of more like bluish undertones, which is why I picked it since it would match with the gray. Guess what this is called? It's called Shady Pine. Isn't that great? This is the backsplash tile up close, just so you can see. We have it wrapping from this wall, around here, behind the sink, all the way over there. So basically, you just pull it out like this, turn the knob back here, and turn that. Can't tell if this is convenience or peak laziness. This is my little drink station. It used to be in the bar, but I've now moved it into here since we have more countertop space to put in here. So I do have actually all my coffee and stuff is in this cabinet, but for now we just have the espresso out and then some sugar and stuff, my reusable cake cups for the Keurig, and then also the soda stream and some reusable straws. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe down below. My battery is gonna die, so I have to shut up, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.